Hey guys, welcome to another episode about ESP programming. So today we are going to talk about memory. And in order to explain this better, open your tools in your uh, Arduino IDE and go to MMU. So in here you have multiple options uh, by which you're going to be able to select particular model of memory use. So basically with ESP8266 you have four chunks, each 16K of memory. And in this first balance mode, you are going to have two chunks in IRAM and two chunks in uh, iCache. Well, on side of instruction memory, you are going to uh, have uh, multiple uh, types of memory. So you are going to have uh, IRAM, you are going to have DRAM, you are going to have iCache. Of all of these types, uh, IRAM is the most important. ESP using it for uh, interrupts with functions that are dealing with time and with error handling. iCache is also important and you are going to use it to deal with external flash memory. And there is also something that is called DRAM or dynamic memory. So by this first option, you are going to get uh, two chunks of 16K of memory uh, into iCache and two chunks of 16K of memory into IRAM. With second option, you are going to get three chunks of 16K of memory into IRAM and one chunk of 16K of memory into iCache. But with this uh, third and fourth option, you are going to get two heaps. And for now, I'm going to check this first option and we are going to deal with coding. So first, I want to show you this library that you have to include in order to uh, use these functions. So umm underscore malloc forward slash umm underscore heap underscore select dot h so now i'm going to initialize my serial monitor with baud rate of 9600 and first i'm going to show you how to uh, print a uh, free heap so serial print ln and use function esp get free heap Okay, I'm going to upload this code. And now I'm going to open my uh, serial monitor. I'm going to restart my microcontroller. Okay, uh, this is our uh, free heap, uh, around uh, 52 Ks of memory. And now I'm going to show you how to select a different type of memory. So first I'm going to use function ESP set IMAP heap. No, sorry, it's IRAM heap. Okay, I'm going to copy. I'm going to copy both of these lines. Okay. Now we are going to select DRAM heap and we are going to print free heap in both cases. I'm going to upload this code. So with these two numbers I'm guessing that my microcontroller uses exact the same heap for this memory model. So what I'm going to do now I'm going to go to tools and uh, I'm going to select uh, these uh, two heaps. Okay I'm going to upload this code now. And let's see what we are going to get now. So now we are dealing with two completely different heaps. And when you have two heaps like this, there is another way to select them. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use function umm set underscore heap by id. And in this first case, I'm going to provide the zero. I'm going to copy this. And now I'm going to provide this very same function with index one. Let's upload it. All right, same like in previous case. And final question, how actually to use this? When you select your heap, every variable that you put on heap after this function is going to be stored on a heap with index zero. When you change your heap, Variables that you put on heap later on are going to be stored on this second heap. But then when you free your memory, that variable is going to free memory on heap where it's created, but not on heap that is active at that moment. 
So guys, that's all for this episode. I hope that you have learned something interesting. So please like, subscribe and see ya!